Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome to another gardening project. So as you can see, it is spring, just barely. We are just out of February, so we're not quite into planting season yet, but we are into spring bed cleanup. So that is what we are doing today. Um, I've already cleaned out that garden bed. I will show you all of that, but essentially we're going to go ahead and take out all these vincas and other annuals that are dead from last year that probably should have been taken out, but it's hit or miss sometimes on clean up the garden late fall after everything's spent or early spring. Um, try to protect everything else in here. So I don't know. Mom's opinion is best to let sleeping dogs lie. It's not as pretty, but it's a little safer. So we're going to take out all those old dead annuals. We're going to take out all the weeds that have grown over the winter. We're going to cut back anything um, like these cone flowers or the blue salvia that are perennials. You can see that since I am in 8A, we are in a very warm climate here. All of my perennials are starting to actually come back. So I will just cut out the dead sticks on those and leave the leafy green growth. We will trim back the roses a bit. We will clean out all of these limbs here. You can see the green coming through. They stay green all winter. I probably should have cleaned those out last fall so that they had a whole season of just green growth over winter or hibernation and didn't just sit in the decay all winter. But they're okay. They're going to rebound just fine. Limbs are, are very hardy. So we are going to clean those out. We will probably trim up the bushes just a little, but not a lot because these purple ones here. They've got blooms all over them. They're growing in just fine. And then I have a whole other video on planting my spade green bulbs. So I'm cleaning in irises. I'm cleaning in alliums. I'm cleaning in daffodils. Um, I've already done most of that earlier. But I have a few left. Some gladiolus bulbs and some iris bulbs. You can see my irises I put in last fall are coming up. Hopefully they'll bloom soon, but we are right at the end of what I can do for bulbs. So we'll put in a few more and then it'll probably be two more here. And we'll see if those will bloom this year or not. But we're going to put them in because I've got them. I've been keeping them cold all winter. So we just put them in the ground. So I'm going to clean out the window boxes. And we're just going to tidy everything up so that we can compost everything. And then 1st of April, after 1st of April is our last frost date here, we can get our seeds in the ground and start growing things. So this is not the fun part. This is the hard work part, but want to have the hard work. You want to have fun. Right, bitty bitty? Yeah. Our grass is actually looking pretty good. I seeded this whole portion last year. Um, but I seeded it in the very heat of the summer and it still did this well. I am going to go ahead and put the sprinklers back out and reseed it um, late, late winter, early spring. It's usually a good time to start grass before it gets too hot. So I'm gonna reseed all of this as well and see if we can't fill in some of these gaps. We'll do that a different day though. All right, y'all, so as you can see, cleaning out is going well. This whole section is pretty much done. We've still got one, two, three, four limbs here to clean out and some weeds back here that need to be taken care of. But then this entire side is pretty much done. 
We can move on to the big side. Of course, we had to remove all the leaves on this side, so that took longer. The yard guy took all the leaves out of the other half, but not this half. Around the corner here. These are Angelonia, which I thought were an annual. They were tagged as such. When I started cleaning them up, though, found all this new growth at the bottom. So we are going to see if they will come back. If they won't, then I'll take them out later. The Gara is coming up, and I've got a bunch of pink salvia and my rose bush. Back there, there's a couple weeds that still need to be cleaned up. You can see my weed bag, but we are, we're getting there, y'all. Cleaning things out for spring. Can't wait until it's actually time to plant stuff. Let's keep going. Alright y'all, as you can see, we are making progress. This is definitely a multi-day project. Now, if I didn't have 22 lambs here on this side of the garden and 11 on that side, we probably would be done by now. But we're just going to keep going. Uh, it's The parts that are done are looking good and compost is coming on Friday. It is Wednesday, so we got to get done with this part of it. Otherwise, the compost will have nowhere to go. <laughs> and the compost will be the very last step in our prepping and cleaning our garden bed for spring. Cannot wait for Saturday. Let's keep going. Alright y'all, so I started cleaning out my window boxes, fully expecting to take all the plants out, take all the dirt out, put new potting soil in, and instead, I was met with this. Every single one of my vincas in these window boxes is coming back, is turning green, is leafing out all the way down. You can see one already popping up. 
So I did take the first one out here, so that one's missing, and that's when I noticed it. So then I checked all the way down, and that, sure enough, they are all green. Now, vincas are not perennials, they are annuals. I pulled every single one of my landscape, checked them all, they were all dead, dead, dead. But I did these window boxes kind of late last year, so perhaps they have a little more life left in them. I'm going to leave them and see what they do. At the, the very least, I can't plant summer stuff for a while, at least another month. If they're not doing great by then, then I'll pull them then. I guess that's all there is to say about that. But I have this garden bed and the other one completely cleaned out and ready for compost. So tomorrow, tomorrow, baby, baby, is compost day. Are you ready? She's ready. And that is our last step to getting these beds ready for spring. Then we just have to wait for warmer weather to start planning. Can't wait.